extend command is the opposite of the trim command. It lengthens things to a boundary, and it's found under the trim command on the ribbon. Join command joins two or more open objects. And finally, the stretch command changes the shapes of objects, although today grips do the same job more easily. The extend command extends open objects to a boundary. This makes it the opposite of the trim command, which trims objects back to a boundary. On the command line, you get asked to select objects, but you can also press enter to select all of them. I'm going to press enter. The prompt now asks me to select an object to extend. So first I'm going to select this end of this line. Notice that it's the end that you pick that gets extended. The other end of the open object remains unchanged. I'll continue with the arc to see how the arc is affected. When I click at this end, the arc continues its curve. Now what about the case of a spline which has varying curvatures? Well, when we click at this end, the result is a straight line. What happens is that the tangent of the spline is extended. When I click at the other end, the same thing happens. The tangent is extended. To see the tangents of splines and get an idea of how they will be extended, I've cancelled the extend command and select the spline and you can see at both ends the directions of the tangents. The join command brings things together and so here from the ribbon I've selected the command and then on the command prompt you can see it asks me to select one or more uh, source objects. These are the objects that will be joined together. Here I have three lines in a row and I'm going to select all three of them. Press enter. They are then converted into a polyline. Here I've drawn a spline and attached a line to the end of it. Let's see what happens with the join command. I select the two of them, press enter. The tool tells us that the two haven't come together. Let's look what happens when you apply the join command to an arc. So I've selected the arc. Down on the prompt you can see that there's the close option. When you join an arc, it turns into a circle. The stretch command is perhaps the most awkward in all of NanoCAD to use, and that's because of the unusual way it expects you to select objects. If you look down here on the command prompt, you'll see that select objects to stretch by crossing window or crossing polygon. This is what a crossing window looks like. But once you've done that initial selection using crossing window, you can then use any other type of selection like you normally would. So I've selected two objects, one crossing window, one normally press enter to continue. It asks me for a base point, that's where I start stretching, and then a second point where the stretching ends. The line segments there are being moved in their entirety, but notice what's happening with the closed polyline. This segment is not being stretched, but it's only being moved because it was entirely within the crossing window. These two segments were crossing the crossing window, and so they're the ones that actually get stretched. And then finally in the back here, this segment remains in place because it was outside the crossing window. The stretch command has no effect on circles, but it does work on arcs. Fortunately, the stretch command has been superseded by grips. So when you select an object, such as this polyline, and then grab that small rectangular shaped grip, and then you stretch it, the exact same effect as the stretch command occurs. Mm -hmm.